Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and today I'm going to be talking all about the new Be Perfect and Stacey Marie MUA palette. This is what it looks like on the outside. It is the Carnival number four and it is the Antidote palette and it is a perfect fall themed palette. There are 45 shades which usually like that's a lot of shades but they're smaller pans it is september now and i just want everything and anything that has to do with fall and this palette is literally just like all you could ever need for a fall eyeshadow themed palette i love the greens we have some more neutrals we have some uh oranges as well as some more like reddish toned eyeshadows over here down in the corner so you can really just create so many different looks i'm going to be creating five for you in this video but honestly if i could do 10 i would have done 10 and there's really a limited options here you could do very monochromatic looks you could also mix some of the tones like I did in this fifth and last look and from this collection I did also pick up the liquid eyeshadows which are also all fall themed types of metallic shades the liquid metallic eyeshadows are the same as the shades in the eyeshadow palette and I will of course watch those for you as well. Now this is the first time I'm actually trying like eyeshadow products from Be Perfect. I do have their eyeshadow primer, but that's it. I did buy the previous uh, collaboration Carnival palette, which was called Tahiti, but that one actually they forgot to ship it out. So I didn't get it until over a month later. And it was really just a frustrating and I didn't end up even filming with the palette, but I do know that that palette had really amazing reviews. The thing mats are just absolutely beautiful. So I was very excited to try this one out this one came to me really really quickly at least i'm really excited to be able to film for you today and it's not often that i get to do that but i do have this week off so i thought i would try to get this video up for you as soon as possible so let's get into some swatches and then the five looks and i'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video First look, priming with the P. Louise primer. I'm just trying to use it up. I'm so, so close. So this is the best way to get some use out of it. I feel like I should have washed my brushes before this, but oh well. I'm going in with Spiced Coral. I'm going to be putting that on the inner portion, inner like third portion of my lid and just blending it into the crease. Then going into Buttercup right next to that. Really nice bright yellow. So far, like minimal effort. Like these two just applied so smoothly. And then Moss on the outer corner. Let's see if you can really see a difference. Okay. Okay, it's just like slightly greener than the others. I'm going to go in with Sable on top of that because I do want it to be a bit more green in the outer corner there. Next, going in with Clover on the outer corner and blending it into the green. I feel like this one seems a little harder press. I have to like really press my brush and wiggle it around in there. Wait, why does this look like a flag? <laughs> going in with Nectar and I'm gonna put it kind of on an angle so onto the transition area here and then bring it inwards and then going in with shimmer, which is like a warmer tone. Honestly, these look kind of almost the same once they're on the lid. And I feel like I lost a little bit of the matte here, blended it too much, so I'm gonna go and fix that. I do have quite a bit of fallout. I would probably have wet the brush next time. I'm going to add in a little bit more of spiced coral in here just to deepen it up again. I feel like I was blending that shimmer in there and lost that. Picking up clover and finishing off the lower lash line on this side and then going in with moss right next to that. And I'm using glisten as my inner corner highlight using Copacetic Cosmetics Cupy Lashes on this eye. Here's the first finished look. Second look going into Pampas, and I'm gonna put that right into the crease. 
and just kind of blend it all over. This is such a fun, like vibrant, almost neon color. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Dove, just like right here, to blend out the edge. And then taking cinnamon, blending it into that, in the crease. Okay, so far, so much pigment. These are all so pigmented so far. But obviously there's like 30 shades for me to try here. I'm gonna try to uh, use as many as possible in the five looks, but I could honestly do easily 10 looks or more, obviously with this palette. It's just so many pens. Next, taking Aubergine, I'm gonna put that into the outer corner. Just tapping it on and then feathering the edges out. I feel like this is like a one-all be-all fall palette, truly. Like you won't need any more fall-themed eyeshadow palettes if you get this palette. And then dipping into pecan or pecan. Is it pecan or pecan? I feel like everyone pronounces it differently. And I'm gonna stamp that into the crease to deepen it up a little bit more. And just lightly feather that edge out. Taking the white P. Louise base and I'm gonna do a half cut crease. So first just kind of mapping it out. That obviously like mixed into all those shades and then I'm gonna take my finger and just tap out the outer edge as well as my lid. I just wanted a little bit of like a cut crease there so I could go in and map out with a shimmer. Going in with Glisten, and this brush is from Glam Shop, actually. I'm gonna put that right above. I'm gonna put that right where I have the edge of the half cut crease. Then going in with Cutie Pie. And blending that below. And then pin up right over here in the outer corner. Oh, that's beautiful. That is such a beautiful shade. I'm taking that pretty much all the way into the crease. Oh, I love this look. Just a little bit more cutie pie here. I have just a tiny bit of follow, but definitely less than on the other side when I use the other brush. Taking some aubergine on my brush and finishing off this eye. Taking pumpas and putting it on the inner portion and blending it into the bottom of aubergine and I'm using oyster as an inner corner highlight using the Ardell wispy lashes on this eye here's a second finished look third look going in with moss and I'm going to put it right in the center of my crease I'm going to do a halo eye on this and going in with antidote on the inner lid and the outer corner and blending it out I think I'm gonna go in with sable to help blend that out but yeah that's definitely really clean up my brush and just blending it out even further Going back in with a little bit more antidote, just packing it on. Putting on some P. Louise base right in the center. Cutting it, making sure I'm clearing my hood. I think that should be good. So I'm just going to tap out the outer corners here. And here, taking grunge and putting it on the outer portion of where I cut the center of my crease. This shade is super, super dark, clearly. And then I'm putting honey right in the center. Taking it all the way up. This shade is so stunning, very pigmented, very metallic. 
I'm going to connect my lower lash line with antidote. It's going to be a grungy, smoky kind of look. And then I'm taking Buttercup and I'm going to put it under my lower lash line next to antidote. I'm taking Dove. I'm taking Dove and it's going to be my inner corner highlight, which is going to be matte. Copacetic Cosmetics Kelpie Lash on this eye. And here's the third a finished look. Next, on this eye, I'm going to do a full cut crease. I'm using my sticker from Crown Noir. I'm just going to align it. I did already put um, my primer down, which I usually don't, but it's fine. I just decided that I was going to do a full cut crease. Taking Buttercup and putting it right above the sticker. This makes cut creases so much easier. Like you just, you don't have to really worry about much and it's faster because it's already cut when you take it off. Next taking October and just taking it a little bit above the sticker but trying to keep it pretty close so that I have room to blend it into the yellow. Uh, so that I don't completely lose the yellow and just building it up Until I get it where I want it like honestly just this is so easy. I'm gonna take a little bit more buttercup and Just make sure it's nice and blended I'm gonna take a little bit more over here. Oh I love that. I mean that blend is so nice. I really feel like these eyeshadows just go together so well. Like, that was so easy. And then I'm going to peel it off. And done. So I really want to use these liquid eyeshadows that I also grabbed. And I'm just going to use use it to do like a wing. Mm, looks like it's a little watery. So it's not really working out. Do you see that? It's a bit patchy. I'm gonna use a brush to tap it. Oh, that's just coming off. Okay, that's really weird. Okay, I picked it up on the brush. That's definitely a lot better. I also mixed it a little bit in there. That works significantly better, but still kind of coming off, you have to be careful. Which is not my favorite thing. So with the shade pinup next going in with brass. Oh, this just makes me think of pumpkins and fall. This is such a beautiful color. Also, same issues. I did try to mix it up in there. Then using honey into the inner third. It's also very patchy. It's like too liquidy or something and so it's causing it to be patchy all right i'm gonna wait for this to dry see if i can add another layer going back in with brass and i'm just gonna tap it on try to really not pick up a lot i wonder if these just layer better over eyeshadow maybe it's the fact that my lid is bare i'm not sure but i will try it over eyeshadow so going back in with honey and again just tapping it on Definitely better, but I can still see some patchiness, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I had to take it off and try to salvage as much as I could of the crease because unfortunately it just like was a creasy mess and there was just no saving it. I'm just gonna go and fix this right here. Just a little bit. And I did already put down the P. Louise base. So we're gonna do something else. I'm taking Mystic. And wow, that's pigmented. We're gonna do a wing. And then just line up over here. I'm gonna take it under my little lash line as well, but just a little bit. I'm getting a bit of fallout, unfortunately. And it's kind of sticking down. I'm gonna take Fuego and I'm gonna mix it into Mystic me a little bit interesting type of look just 
spooling it upwards and go back in with Mystic just to make sure it's nice and blended into that shade. Then lastly taking Bon Bon and blending it into Fuego and I'm just going to take it just so it's not fully touching the edge there. And again, just making sure it's blended in, going back in with Fuego, making sure there's a nice clean transition. Then taking Dove and defining this edge and blending it in and out here as well. And then taking Sweet Cheeks under my lower lash line and I'm going to use Oyster as an inner corner highlight. Ardell Wispy Lashes on this eye, and here's the finished fourth look. Onto the fifth and last look, priming my eye. I'm going in with Ash right in the crease, and I'm not going to take it all the way. I'm just going to kind of flick it out here. And then going into Suede, I'm going to blend that into the... I'm going to use that to blend it out. Going in with Aubergine, I'm going to put that into the outer corner on an angle. And I'm not going to be blending it into the green because that will get muddy. But we're just going to kind of tap it out, thus blending it out. I'm going to tap it on a little bit onto the green, but I'm actually going to use like... I'm going to use suede to kind of be the transition between the two and going in with mystic to deepen that up again just tapping picking up sugar maple onto my finger and putting it all over the lid and i'm taking glisten and we're gonna use it to almost do like a cut crease but with the shimmer and I did dampen my brush just to make this easier and we're gonna cut above. I'm gonna wipe off that brush and go back in with Sugar Maple. I don't want too, too much of the lighter shade. I just wanted it to be kind of like almost like a liner without it being a liner. I put on the Michaela and Glam Light Collaboration Code Orange Lashes. And in my waterline, I have this Renum Beauty For Real Gold Eyeliner I got in like a boxy charm like a few years ago. Finishing off the lower lash line with Aubergine, then Fall, and just Peachy next to that. So Fall doesn't want to stick down, so I'm going to put on just a little bit of the P. Louise base, and then I'm going to dip into Fall. Much better. And here's the final and finished look. So, so let me first start off with these. I did only try to use three shades. And then I did also try to use brass over the matte eyeshadows. Um, that was off camera and it also didn't really layer. It just seems way too liquidy so it's very patchy. It does take quite a while to dry down as well. And with hooded oily lids, you know, I would have to just be basically looking down making sure that... I don't crease them when I look up. So that's not my favorite. The swatches looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, the shades are really, really nice and metallic and they look stunning. And brass is basically like pumpkin in a metallic liquid eyeshadow form. And I was just really excited for these. So unfortunately with the experience I had in this video, I would not recommend getting these. Maybe get only one and try it out. Uh, but I do have to keep trying these out and see if I can make them work because otherwise that is some wasted money and product, unfortunately. However, the palette, I am very, very happy with pretty much no issues of blending these and deepening up these and layering these. There's no like real weird like blending away or anything like that. They just blend like a dream. They work really, really seamlessly together. I had a great time. I tried to use as many mattes as possible, but there are definitely some mattes that I didn't use. Some of these kind of dusty shades. Basically, these two columns are right in the center, but otherwise, I've used majority of the eyeshadows in the five looks that I did, and I'm very happy with it. The 
shimmers in here are really, really beautiful and metallic. They're not like sparkly, but they're a really nice, smooth, metallic formula. However, when you use certain shades together, they do kind of end up looking very, very similar on the lid. And it's hard to tell that you actually have two different metallics on the lid. It happened with one of the first two looks. I would just make sure that you're using like a medium toned um, metallic and then a really brighter color one. So for example, like nectar and silvery so that you can see the distinction between the two. But I think that's pretty much the only con that I have about this palette. There's honestly so many possibilities and different kinds of looks you can create. And like I mentioned in the beginning, you can do more chromatic looks, you can mix them up. These blend it just really, really easily. And I'm very happy that I finally get to try Be Perfect and the Stacey Marie MUA eyeshadow palette. And I'm really curious to see if they're going to be doing even more eyeshadow palettes in the future. But so far, it seems like everybody has been loving their collaborations. So that's everything for this video. Let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite. And also let me know if you plan on picking this palette up or if you already have, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribe there's so much eyeshadow content already up on my channel you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time